I'm the hardest working guy. I, I, you know, I feel like I'm pretty smart. You know, how did I lose all this? So please welcome Ricky Carruth to the show. Guys, I, I appreciate you having me on, Dan. Thanks for reaching out. Uh, good to connect with you, and I like everything you're doing as well. Thank you, thank you, and I've, I've been following you as well. We met uh, a little while ago, and it's, it's been great to see you and, and what you're doing and kind of the way you've implemented some of the, the Gary V strategy, both with your business and real estate, both coaching that you're doing, the big following that you're building on mm -hmm. social media and elsewhere. But let's let's start with a little bit of background on you. You know, Tell us about your, your real estate journey. Yeah, man, it is actually it has really been a journey. That's a good word for it. I um, 2002 was the beginning. Um, you know, I roofed houses with my father before that. Got in real estate. I failed a history class in college. Went to two colleges in four years and decided that was not for me. And uh, took the real estate course, which is one course to get your license. Got in real estate. Thought I was done with roofing. Worked in the office for 30 days, didn't sell anything, had to go back to roofing. Now I'm roofing and doing real estate, trying to figure it out. Eight months later, eight long months later, I sell property. It's my my grandmother's condo. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but uh, I actually sold another condo too that month. I had two closings, actually on the same day was my first closing two closings in the same day. And then from there, I sold two a month for a while. Then the market blew up. This is back 2002. So 2003 and four were the years where the market really exploded. And I'm in Gulf Shores, uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama, Orange Beach. We're right on the Florida state line. I'm looking at million dollar condos out my window right now on the beach. Um, there's white sandy beaches, palm trees. It's really kind of one of the country's best kept secrets to be honest with you. but. We have about 6 million visitors every year. There's about 15, 16,000 population. So really small town beach tourist kind of place. I love it. And uh, it's grown a lot over the last couple decades, but prices doubled in a couple years. Uh, I'm 23 at this point, self-made millionaire. Um, don't know what to do with my money. So I buy a bunch of cars and houses and toys. And then I try, <laughs> I try to invest a lot of it too. Um, you know, just to recoup some of the dumb decisions I made and, um, you know, acquired a lot of debt through the process. So when the market crashed, I crashed. Um, I tried to hang on. I had some cash reserve. I spent it all trying to hang on, not thinking the crash was going to be as long as it was. It finally took me completely under. I foreclosed on several things. Uh, had nothing. Uh, I had a car somebody gave me and my cell phone. My cell phone bill was the only bill that I had uh, on top of keeping my license active. Um, that was literally all I had. I was sleeping on friends' couches and I went back to roofing houses and I eventually found a job on an oil rig. I worked there for a year. So um, yeah, interesting time. So when I lost everything, that's when I decided I was really going to figure out why I lost everything. I wanted to really dig in. I was really curious to why, you know. I'm the hardest working guy. I'm, I, you know, I feel like I'm pretty smart, you know. How did I lose all this? And uh, I knew that I was, I was actually happy when this happened because I knew that I was going to learn what I did wrong, come back stronger, and never lose it again. I knew all this was going to happen. Um, and to be honest, man, I work harder now than I did than I did when I was on the oil rig. At least on the oil rig. 12 hours goes by and you're done. You know, this is 24 seven because not only am I, like you said, selling a hundred properties a year as a single agent, I'm coaching 11,000 agents in a free real estate coaching program where I'm answering every single Instagram DM, every single comment, every single email, everything. I'm, I'm maintaining all that. I'm also running all my social media platforms. I'm posting every single thing. I'm commenting everything. Um, writing all the text, I'm, I'm doing all my Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads. I'm managing all that stuff myself. So it's definitely a 24 hour thing. Um, but back to the story, I got back in after that. What I realized was that the first half of my career was all about the deal. And that's what we're taught when we get in the business. 
and it had to, I, something clicked at some point and I realized it's about the people, not the deal, not the money. And when I realized this and I, and I, start, I flipped it and I got laid off from the oil rig and I was forced back into real estate, but luckily enough, I was already dabbling in real estate and talking to people and trying to put stuff together. I had a couple things cooking and uh, I ended up closing a, a few things there right when I, right when I got laid off and I was able to kind of get a little momentum there with a little financial cushion with some closings and I was off to the races and I said this is this is gonna work this time so I put the work in that was 2008 uh, took me to 2014 to actually hit 100 deals so so imagine that 2000 around 2007 is when I actually understood it was about relationships over transactions Right. Um, but then it took me another, say, six or seven years after I realized it, uh, another six or seven years of grinding to get to that hundred deals. And so people think it's instant. People think it's just going to happen immediately. And e even if you have the knowledge, there's two kinds of knowledge. There's the knowledge you get from listening to this podcast right now and reading books and going to seminars and watching YouTube. And then there's the, the knowledge you get from real life experience. And if you don't, if you don't have both, you're not going to excel. And if you don't have experience, you're not going to do anything. If you just sit around and watch and listen and all that, nothing. If you don't take action and then learn through the, the experiences of losing and failures and rejection, you're not going to go anywhere in life. So seven years, man, after I realized the secret to all this, and I didn't know it was the, like the big secret at the time. I just knew I was onto something. Seven more years before I hit it. So there was another little part of it. In 2010 was the BP oil spill. The BP oil spill hit our area hard. Um, it was it, it scared everybody off. It scared all the tourists off. It scared agents out of the area. Sellers were dumping their properties. And I I was like I was excited because I could I could use my new philosophies on this little mini recession and see if I'm right about you know closings happening every day regardless of market conditions business is unlimited forever you know relationships over transactions all the stuff I teach and uh, I made more money that year I went from a hundred thousand in 2009 to 150 in 2010 so I went up 50 percent in a down year and that was my big huge aha moment in real estate that I really 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 onto something and that's when I really just, I moved to Remax at that point and I just took off. And by 2014, I was selling 100 a year. When I got there, I'm thinking, is this real? You know, because I've been here before and I lost it all. So I'm thinking, is this real? And so, you know, I wanted to continue grinding and make sure. I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave anything on the table. So 2015, I did it again. 2016, by 2016, I was thinking, I think this is real. And I started contemplating about writing a book and I started dabbling with it and at the end of 2016 I did a speech in Biloxi Mississippi uh, at a Remax event and the people were so receptive to what I was saying that it kind of motivated me and, and really pushed me to finish the book I said I have to finish this what I'm saying is resonating it's gonna help a lot of people and that's what I wanted to finish the book which is called Zero to Diamond. And uh, a funny thing, I finished the book and then sent it to my editor. When I sent it to the editor, I, I, I was like, man, I forgot all this stuff. <laughs> there was all this stuff in my, there was all this stuff, there was all this stuff in my head still. I was like, man, I left all this stuff out. So I immediately just started like, like, not, like nothing even stopped. I just kept writing. And by the time he was done editing, which only took a couple weeks or whatever, by the time he was done editing it, I, I literally traded him that first one for the second one. And I was like, here, edit this one too. And it's called List to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. And, uh, um, and he started editing that one. So I dropped two books really quick because I had all this stuff built up in my head. Now I release all that information that's in here through YouTube. When I have something, some idea, and I really got to get it out, and I really just got to release it out to the public, I just make a video about it, and that's kind of how I release that now. Because I haven't wrote another book. I, I want to write another book, but it's going to be a while because I want to build. I want to keep. I want to keep going in the direction I'm going, and really build my audience and help people. So, 
to end the story, been selling 100 properties ever since and um, just really love real estate and just really love people and helping people do what they want to do. And through, the, through coaching and through watching Gary V, Gary V motivated me and, and pushed me to actually do the coaching for free. And I was charging for it. And, you know, at one point, I don't want to, I, I'll, I'll skip the details there, but I switched to free and so many amazing things started to happen. So then here recently, I thought, why don't we do real estate for free? help people in real estate for free. So my newest thing was help a for sale by owner for free where I did a video about it and then I did live calls where I was calling for sale by owners to help them for free and I got a listing. I got a listing that day, not for free. You know, the freeness is I'm gonna give you the best advice to sell it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can use flatfee.com or whatever to put it on MLS. I wanna make sure you got professional pictures and the best remarks. I wanna try to help you look at the comps to make sure that it's priced right. And really try to help them, not hold anything back. Really try to give it all to them. And then what happens, they appreciate it so much that now I'm their agent for life. And if they, if they sell it themselves, they'll buy through me. If they decide two, two or three months down the road they want to list it, they'll list with me. If they, if they, you know, if they sell their stuff and go away, that's okay too. Because don't we all lose deals all the time? It's a numbers game, you know. So as long as your intentions are right, is what I've learned at the end of the day. Your intentions are right. Everything will work out if you're working hard and trying to contact enough people. Don't get hung up on one deal. You know, that, that's a big problem with the industry too. Wow, there's a lot of great stuff in there. <laughs> really, so many things stand out.